In the last lecture, we created a custom middleware class. We are calling it my middleware. And in order to create this custom middleware class, we are inheriting from i middleware interface. And when we are inheriting from i middleware interface, it enforces us to implement invoke async method. So this method is basically our middleware function. And in order to access this middleware function in program.cs file, we are using this use middleware method. And then to this use middleware method, we are specifying our custom middleware class name as a generic argument. Now, what I want is instead of accessing my custom middleware like this, I want to access my custom middleware something like app dot and then the middleware name. For example, my middleware. So I want to access my custom middleware like this. But currently it is not possible because currently we don't have any method called my middleware on web application class or on i application builder interface. But somehow we want to use our custom middleware like this. And in order to achieve this, we can use a concept called extension methods. So I hope you already know about extension methods, but if you don't, you can go ahead and search the web and you will see a lot of articles and lot of videos which is explaining extension methods in detail. Extension method is a very simple concept. It allows us to use a method on an existing type like it is a part of that type. For example, here if I go ahead and if I create a variable, let's say x of type integer and let's say x equal to 10. And on that x, when I say dot, you will see all the available methods which we can use on this integer type. For example, equals, compare to, get type, etc. So these methods are basically defined for this integer type. It is defined by dot net. But let's say we want to have a method on this integer type. For example, is greater than. This is greater than method is not defined on this integer type by .NET framework. But we want to define this is greater than method and we want to use this is greater than method like it is a part of this integer type. So I want it to be shown in the intelligence when I say x dot. Okay, so such kind of functions, such kind of methods we can create using extension methods. Again, if you want to learn more about extension methods, then there is a lot of articles available on internet which you can go through. So what we are going to do here is we are going to create an extension method and using that extension method, we will use our custom middleware as it is a part of I application builder. Basically, we are able to use this use method. We are able to call this use method on this app because this app is an instance of I application builder. Here you can see this app is of type web application. If I go to this class, you will see that this web application is inheriting from I application builder. And we have earlier learned that we can use this use method on an instance of type I application builder. So this app is an instance of I application builder. That's why we are able to use this use method on it. In the same way, we are able to use this run method on this app because this app is of type i application builder. If I go to the definition of this run method, you see this run method is also an extension method. And the first argument of this method is of type i application builder, which we are defining using this, this keyword. That means this run method can be used on this i application builder. So in the same way, we are going to create our own custom middleware. So here, let's go to this mymiddleware.cs class. Here we have this mymiddleware. Now in the same file, let's go ahead and let's create a class and let's call this class custom middleware extension. Let's make this class public. And inside this custom middleware extension class, we are going to create an extension method. Now there are three requirements to create an extension method. First of all, the class in which you're going to create an extension method that should be a static class. So let's make this class static. Then the custom method which you're going to create that should also be a static method. So here let's create a static method and this method is going to return a value of type i application builder. And let's call this method my middleware. Okay. So in order to create an extension method, the first requirement is the class inside which we are going to define the extension method 
that should be a static class and the extension method itself should also be a static method then the first parameter of that extension method should start with this keyword and then we need to specify the type on which we want to call this extension method here we want to access this my middleware extension method on instance of types i application builder so let's specify that and let's specify a name here let's simply call it app okay so now if we go to the program.cs file there you will notice that now that red squiggly is gone here so now we are able to access this my middleware function this middleware on this app object okay let me comment this line and this is possible because we have defined this my middleware as an extension method here finally what we want is when this my middleware is called like we are calling this my middleware here we want to call this middleware function so for that inside this extension method let's use this app object which is of type i application builder and on that we have access to use middleware method okay and to this use middleware method we can specify the middleware which we want to call just like we are doing here okay so we need to specify the middleware as a generic argument and the middleware name is my middleware so basically here we need to specify the custom middleware class name all right and when we are calling this method here it is going to return us an object of type i application builder so we can simply return that object from here and that's it now using this extension method we are able to call our custom middleware as it is a part of i application builder because now we are able to access it on this app object on the instance of i application builder and this method will also show in the intelligence let me show you that let me delete it from here and when i say dot you will see that we have that in the intelligence as well okay so this is what the extension method does and when we run this program rest of the things are going to be same so the execution order here is not going to change it is going to remain same and also keep in mind that in the future also when we will create our own custom middlewares we will use it like an extension method even the built-in middlewares provided by asp.netco they are also extension methods okay all right so let me go ahead and let me run this program let me also put a breakpoint in this method okay let's run this program and let me show you the flow as you can see first this extension method has been called so this extension method will be created on the i application builder let's press f10 f10 okay so the extension method has been created here this my middleware can be now accessed on i application builder type now if i press f10 and f10 again now the server has started and now the server is listening for request so for the first request as you can see first of all the middleware one will be executed because this middleware one is defined first let's say f10 and now we are calling the next middleware in the request pipeline so now middleware 2 will be called let's press f10 again we are calling this next method so now the next middleware in the request pipeline which is middleware 3 that means our own custom middleware that will be called so if i press f10 now the control will go to that middleware if I press f10 again and then f10 again we are calling the next method so the next middleware in the request pipeline will be called which is this middleware which we are defining using this run method let's press f10 again f10 f10 so now we are back to our custom middleware if i press f10 again and f10 again now we are back in middleware 2 from where we called middleware 3 and if i press f10 the execution of middleware 2 is also complete so now we will be back to middleware 1 from where we called our middleware 2 by using this next method and in this way the execution of all the middlewares in the request pipeline is complete so if i press f10 you will see that this breakpoint has again been hit that's because if you remember in the last lectures also i have mentioned that by default browser also makes a request to fav icon to the server so this breakpoint has hit here for that particular request let's ignore that and let's click on this continue button and here we should have the same output 
which we had in the last lecture. The only thing which we have changed here is now we are using extension method here for our custom middleware function. This is all from this lecture. If you have any questions, then feel free to ask it.